All right, you guys, I've been thrifting a lot lately. <laughs> so I'm gonna be really, really picky today. I know I've been saying that for a while now, but I'm serious today, unless it's just like crazy bangers, you know? Um, yes, but I've been thrifting quite a lot. I have been decluttering though. I will update you guys that I've taken a few bags to the donation, so that feels good, but I have more to do. And I've been shopping a lot, so I wanna do low impact, but there are a few things I'm looking for, and I haven't been to this Goodwill in a minute, so I'm excited to go back because it'll be all new stuff. I'm looking for a few housewares too. I want some like curtains. I'm taking out a fan in one of my rooms, and I wanna put a light in there, like a ceiling light. So sometimes they have those at the thrift. And then um, some like button down blouses type stuff. Tennis shoes maybe, if they're in good condition. Boots always. And skirts and maxi dresses. Okay, I'm gonna try to be fast too. I'm only gonna give myself one hour, which for me, that's actually really fast at the thrift store. Like one hour is like bare minimum that I can be in there. So I gotta go because I'm driving by. I'll also say I'm looking for jewelry and accessories, but I feel like that's been on my list. Does that ever go away? I feel like accessorizing your outfits is just like the way to make them the best. Quick update, I've found so many jewelry items at this Goodwill. I haven't been here for a while and they have so many good jewelry items. On these cute little pearls. This is a fun, like, chunky cuff bracelet. I'm gonna put this one back because I found one I like better. This is another one that I just think is really fun. Like, I love, I actually really like this one. I might think about this one. Some fun pearls. I've been really liking stacking pearls with my other gold necklaces. Look at all these, you guys. I found, I really like this cuff. This is a belt but I think it's part of it's missing so I might have to put that back I found this super cool chunky statement statement necklace right here with these daisies on it here's another pearl necklace that I like fun little funky bracelet I found this that I thought could be a cool belt, even though it's supposed to be a necklace. Beautiful bracelet right here. Some more bracelets. I'll show you guys the ones I get later. I think I'm gonna put these things back, but I wanted to show you guys before I did. I'm thinking about maybe this one. Look at this Victorian. It's in the wedding dress of the Halloween section. Totally looks like it's gunny sacks. It's not, but I feel like Look at the details on like the arm ruffles and like the bottom skirt. Honestly, I would, I wish I could detach the skirt from the top. It's very cool. Love the skirt. I've gotten several maxis recently, but that one is cute. Not my size though, but I would buy that. pretty color I wish it was maxi sorry about the music you guys it's really loud I hope I don't get demonetized I like this skirt but I don't like the length but if this was a mini that'd be so cute love it another very cute print that I wish was maxi and not midi but I like that print and fabric it's kind of fun I wish it was longer looks like it has a lot of like flow to it and the dresses I found this kind of sheer fabric it has two layers but I take off the lining and just use the fabric but I think I'm gonna leave it behind and then I found the same thing with this but I feel like I'd cut out the lining just so it's like netting that's what I found so far over here you guys I found so many cute things today of course I'm trying to like buy less and I find a million things look at these fun crazy shoes not my size, thankfully. Here's my buggy though, and it's out of hand. And I also have to go, so. <laughs> Silver boots have been really trendy lately, especially like cowboy style. Those aren't my size, but figured I'd show you guys because they've been really in, especially the taller ones. Look at these crazy guys. Those are wild. These are my size, I think. They look in really good condition. Will I wear them though? Do I wear burgundy? I feel like I don't wear that much burgundy. And then these are kind of cool too. 1250. 
I do like my Vans old schools, but I feel like these kind of look like the ones I have. Sorrel clogs. So they're kind of like that ballet cord style. I'm not really into it, but a lot of people are. I found this leather coat in the Halloween section. I just thought I'd try it on. It's $40, but I think that the tassels are so sick. But fits kind of funny, and I just got that other one the other day that was vintage Levi's, so I'm gonna leave this one behind. I'm hiding over by the bathroom, but I found this cool, like, knit shirt. It's just from Forever 21. Um, it's $6. It's a maybe. I really like the see-through, like, knit crochet that's going on. Here's a cute little, like, white slip dress. It's only $1.99. But will I wear it? I don't know. So maybe. Here's a black one and it's like tight with the lace underneath. So this is a size large but it's tiny. I think it's vintage so I'm gonna get this one for sure just because I think it's super cute. Robe. I feel like it'd be perfect for like bridal stuff. Very pretty but it's polyester and not silk, so I'm gonna put it back. And I found this black little lace cami. I just can't tell if it's too big or not, because it's kind of wide. I think I actually might get this. How much is it? $2.99, I think I will get it. I found a corset. It's $7. It's like see-through on the sides, but it has like the clips. This is a maybe. It's like maybe blue. I like the see-through parts. I found these cute little like gym shorts. They're kind of crazy colored though, and I don't know if I'd wear them. I'm gonna put them back. I also found these gym shorts that I think are cute. They're like turquoise, but they are six bucks. And I'm gonna put them back even though I like them. I feel like if they're a little bit cheaper. I'd probably get them if they were like four dollars maybe. I also found this really cool knit dress from the brand Akira, Akira, Akira. It's only $7 and I like this more than a lot of the other stuff. I think it's just like really cute for layering for fall and it has a zipper all the way down the front. So I'm not, I don't have time to try this on, but I'm gonna get it. All right guys, I got some stuff. I only spent $30, which isn't too bad. I feel like usually I spend 50, so pretty good. Honestly, I only looked at like half the store. I didn't look at any sweaters, no tops, no blouses, no button downs, none of the men's section, none of the housewares. I basically only looked at dresses, skirts, lingerie, and shoes, and purses, and jewelry. <laughs> okay, I gotta go pick up Bev. I'll see you guys in a minute. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Hello you guys, we are back from the thrifty. I am here with four dogs. I'm dog sitting for my in-laws, so we have dogs everywhere. So if you hear barking or this is Pickles, she's, she's only two, so she likes to come up and get some pets in. Also, I'm a bit sleepy because I just woke up from a nap, so I feel like I'm kind of like disoriented. Well, I got some things at the Goodwill that day, but I've also been to Goodwill since then, and I've picked up more things. <laughs> you guys know how it is. Probably one out of every three times I go to Goodwill, I film. The other times I usually just like stop in really fast. So I have other things to show you other than just that day. I have quite the haul actually. Um, so we're just gonna zip through this. This first one is actually, was sent to me from one of you guys, April. Thank you so much for watching my videos, reaching out on Instagram. We actually traded. She liked something from one of my recent hauls. It was a really cute little like plaid coat and she really liked it. Then we actually ended up doing a trade and she sent me this beautiful vintage like green leather gap pants. I've kind of like gained 10 pounds over the last like few months, but I'm trying to work it back off in the gym. I can get these on, but they are super tight. So hopefully I lose a little bit and can wear these like comfortably instead of like, you know, tight. But I just thought it was so nice of her to offer to do a trade for these because they're beautiful leather pants. And my other leather pants that I have are black and brown. So it was cool to get a green pair. Let's show you the things I ended up picking up from Goodwill the day of the video. I did end up getting this cute like little lingerie skirt. I just thought that the 
fit looked really cute. I know it's supposed to be a slip dress or a slip skirt, um, but I'll probably wear it as a normal skirt. Especially if I pair it with like a big shirt over the top or style it differently. $3.99 and I just really liked that lace detail at the bottom and thought it could be super cute. If not, I could wear it as a slip. I did end up also getting this little lace shirt right here and like I suspected, it's just a little bit too wide in the like width area, rib cage, um, which is a bummer. So maybe I'll style it like over a graphic tee. You know how girls do the little like shirt over a graphic tee? I could style it like that and make it work. Poor Pickles here. We actually had to take her to the event. We actually had to take her to the vet this morning on an emergency because she had some foxtails in her ear. Oh no. Don't start doing that again. I did end up buying this cute knit dress. It is kind of a midi length, which I don't normally like, but it has a big zipper in the front there and I liked the neutral color. It was $6.99 from this brand called Akira. Hopefully I don't hate that midi length on me because sometimes I do. And then I found one of these really cute, you guys know I've been obsessed with these like sparkly sequin bags and I've been picking up a bunch of them. Any like beaded or sequin bags that look like this, I've been buying them. I have quite a few other ones and I actually get a lot of compliments on them when I wear them. I think it like is nostalgic for a lot of people or at least us millennials. I like that it's just kind of like a hobo-y sack. No, no brand, little zipper on the inside. I remember getting a bunch of these from I think like Old Navy when I was in high school. I'd have like every color of this bag and then like every color of flip-flop and you coordinate your flip-flop to like whatever shirt you were wearing <laughs> in like middle school and high school. I went to another Goodwill on a date night with Everett sometimes. If he's feeling like he wants to be nice, He'll take me to dinner and then he'll be like, let's go thrifting afterwards. And this was one of those lucky nights. And I was so excited because I found so many cute things this night and a bunch of free people, which is one of my favorite brands. So it was just amazing. Got this little skirt. I think it's Vintage Express. Yeah, it's Older Express. Little mini skirt with these little stripes. It's kind of like a sheer mesh layer on top of a black skirt underneath. It was $5, I loved the length, I liked, it just fit me really well. It's hot here, you guys. Oh my gosh, like the fall time right now, it's like been high 80s. Today it's 89 degrees out. Like I don't know where this fall weather is, I'm ready for it to be like 60s and 70s, but I swear we'll get like high 80s, almost 90s, and then all of a sudden it'll be like down to the 60s, 50s, 40s. I got these and I'm excited to wear them. They are airy, I'm pretty sure. Oh, American Eagle. American Eagle everything flare little yoga pants, or as the kids call them, flare leggings. They're not actually that much of a flare, I think, that they're just kind of straight leg, but I've been liking things like this for when I'm lounging around the house in the cold weather and also at the gym or just running errands. It looks like cute and sporty and they're super soft and comfortable. And then here's all the free people things. I got this beautiful maxi dress. Kind of summery colors, but like I said, it's still hot here. Sometimes it's fun to wear color in the winter. Sometimes I think that like, I don't know, I'm such a neutral girl and winter's like so blah that sometimes when you wear something like really bright and fun, I think that it like helps my mood a bit. So I'm gonna try to wear more color this fall and winter. This was $7.99. This was actually an intimately free people piece. So I'm not sure if that's like more affordable than their normal free people line, but I still really like that too so very cute even though it's a bit tropical Everett really likes that on me he's kind of picky so when he says yes I'm like okay cool let's look at this skirt very very cute it's a slightly big on me because it's not my size but I feel like I could still make it work at least for a little while and then I'll maybe gift it to someone in my family or friends uh, free people size six I wish it was a size four it's a maxi skirt it's so pretty and this is very fall appropriate you know, just like super fall colors, almost has like a bit of like a boho, almost like Mandela looking print. And it's very flowy. You guys know free people. They're just like very girly and flowy and like boho. So I got that one, $6, $5.99. Again, free people, $7. This one's black, has cute little ties on the shoulder and then has this fun like little beige, like, ruffle at the top ruffles have been really in lately and then the bottom has the cute little ruffle as well 
I feel like this one I can wear with sweaters and kind of fall it up. And then moving on to some things I got the other day when I was at my local Goodwill. This really beautiful anthropology, anthropology coat. It was $14.99. It like is like mid-tier at my local Goodwill. Like really nice coats. They usually put it like $25.99-ish like for the nicer brands or like the fancier ones or like leather, anything leather. So this one was like not as bad as it could have been. I feel like they could have charged more honestly, but still not cheap, I would say. But it's such a gorgeous coat. It's in this maroon color. It's kind of like a moto style. So cute. The fur inside is like still really nice. I don't see any flaws in it. It reminds me a lot of the stuff I've been seeing at Zara as well. They have a lot of these really cute coats like this that are like, Kind of like moto style with all the zippers and stuff, but just have the fur trimming. Edoa by Anthropology. Yeah, adorable. I like that it's a crop length too. It is a bit oversized, but I could wear sweaters underneath it and have it be nice and chunky. This will look cute with a pair of this color Doc Martens. You know, the maroon Doc Martens. Ooh, I don't have those, but cute. <laughs> okay. I think I put this on my TikTok. So if you guys follow me on TikTok, you might have already seen this haul uh, or like the thrift with me portion. And if you guys have TikTok, I will, it's always in my, it's down below. It's linked down below. I do a lot of thrifting content, but just other content as well. On TikTok, I just post whatever I feel like. I found these New Balances and I know that New Balance has made like a really big comeback lately. Like very trendy to have New Balances, which is just so funny to me. Cause when growing up, when I was like little, I feel like, New Balance was such like a dad grandpa shoe. It like wasn't a cool shoe. You know what I mean? My grandpa had New Balances, <laughs> but now they're so cute. I was at Foot Locker and oh my God, the New Balances are really cute. The color combo. These ones are kind of like hikery, but I figured I could wear them to the gym if any of my like gym fits were like this gray color or even that cute little like coral color. I got them. <laughs> I feel like they're not my normal style, but I feel like they're also practical. So. It's good to be practical sometimes. I love fashion, but sometimes I'm like, oh, practical. Okay, I got this little book right here called Big Summer by Jennifer Weiner. Weiner, right here. I feel like I've heard of this one. And okay, I haven't read any Colleen Hoover. I know I'm so late to the party. My little cousin gave me this to borrow to read. And this will be my first calling Hoover book. So I'm gonna start it later today if I have time or maybe tomorrow. I actually got this on the day that I got all the free people and it got put in this wrong bag. This is a designer brand. I looked them up online cause I could just tell that that tag looked designer. So it's called like, um, well actually I think it's French so I'm not gonna pronounce it. I'll just show you right there. Designer, I'm pretty sure that this skirt was made in like the 90s, early 2000s, but it's very reminiscent of kind of like what's popular at the moment. So I was like, oh, perfect. Like I've seen a lot of that kind of style of stuff. So it is a maxi skirt really up close. The print is not black. It's actually kind of like, I don't know, a gray and like brown check divot ruffles on each side right here. See how it kind of like gathers on the edges. It has it on each side, so it's kind of like bunched up material. Can you tell? I hope you guys can tell. Definitely will look amazing with like combat boots, platforms, Doc Martens, like that kind of style, and like a super chunky knit on top, like so cute. I almost didn't buy this, and then I was like, Rochelle, you have to buy it. You know what? I just realized that I forgot to show you guys the jewelry that I got that day. I did get two jewelry items. I think I lost one of them. I got that little bracelet that was gold and it had the little green jewels on it. I don't know where it went. If I find it again, I'll show you guys in a future haul. But I also found these two cute necklaces. There were so many good jewelry that day. Like I could have gotten a lot of stuff, but they priced it all kind of expensive. That thing was like under like six bucks. Like all of them were kind of expensive and that adds up really quick when you want like 10 different jewelry items all at six bucks. So I just got my favorites, but these ones are good. I got this really beautiful necklace right here. I don't know what kind of stone that is. It almost looks like, not moonstone, but it's very pretty, very different colors. Look at that piece at the bottom right there. That's so pretty. And then it has a pretty little pearl at the end. 
gorgeous little drop. But then I also got this. This is beautiful. It's a locket. Sorry about my light being so bright. Hopefully you guys can see. It's got like a bunch of fun like filigree detail. On the back it does say love Jim. <laughs> and obviously I don't know Jim. Um, and there was a picture of Jim inside. I have since taken it out because that was weird. I didn't want to wear Jim around my, ne my neck and not know who it is. It's weird enough that it says love Jim on the back. But I put a picture of me and my dad in it on one side from when I was a baby. Cute! And then on the other side I want to put a picture of Everett, but I haven't found one small enough that fits in there, so eventually I will. But right now it's just me and my dad. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have to find a picture of Everett that's little. All of our pictures are like normal size. I can't find one where Everett's head is this big, so. <laughs> I think that that's everything from this haul, you guys. I hope you guys ended up enjoying everything. I sure did. I found some really good gems, and now that I've hauled it, I'm allowing myself to wear it. I usually try not to wear any of the stuff until after I've hauled it. So now that I've done that, I'm free to wear all these things. I've been really good about taking outfit photos lately for my Instagram, so if you guys want to see some of these things styled, check out my Instagram, check out my TikTok. I'll try to style some of these things on my TikTok as well. And with that out of the way, I think that's everything. I love you guys so much. Let me know in the comments down below if you made it to the end of the video. Comment down below favorite fall smell. Like, you guys are, are you guys like into pumpkin stuff? Are you guys into like cinnamon stuff? Like pecan stuff? Like, what part of fall do you like the smell of? Like autumn leaves? Such a random question. I like all of it. Like, anything fall. I'm just like a basic fall girl, you know, I love summer too though because I like I like being able to do activities I will say the one thing I don't like about fall is once it gets dark so early And then I just stay at home and eat food because I'm just at ho home bored munching I'm not even hungry. I'm just eating because I'm bored, you know It's the one thing I don't like about fall is when it gets dark out early. That is lame. I like summer when it stays sunny until 9 p.m. and I can be out having fun until 9 p.m. That's amazing. So, yeah. Anyways, love you guys so much. Thanks for listening to me ramble and watch me shop. Let me know if you liked any of these pieces as well. I'm curious. Okay, bye.